Physical resurrection comes through the unfallen bride. I'm Tyler Hendricks. For my entire life as a True Parents follower, I have been trying to understand the meaning of physical resurrection. Isn't resurrection spiritual? There's a clue on page 137 of Divine Principle where it states that we can purify the body, transforming it from a haunt of Satan into a temple of God. In this sense, we may say that our physical body is also resurrected. Now, does to be a haunt of Satan mean that evil spirits haunt my physical body? I gained perspective on this from the healing arts. Healers, physicians, and psychotherapists recognize that bad spiritual energies from traumatic experiences settle into the physical organs. Unresolved spiritual trauma leads to physical disease. Doctors, nurses recognize the mind-body mind -body interaction here, and healers help the person discover the spiritual causes of disease and root it out. Connect the dots to what our true parents root out. The universal trauma, the universal traumatic experience is the original sin. From this point of view, the fall implanted Satan's destructive emotions and malevolent energy into the sexual organs. And from conception, these enter the fetus and embed in the physical body. Healing from that is what we call physical resurrection. In this context, I want to share Father's teachings found in Blessing an Ideal Family. Here, Father explains the role of an unfallen bride in the process of physical resurrection. He begins with the plan of creation for Adam and Eve. Originally, the baby seed that was dwelling inside the bone marrow of Adam was to go through the body of Eve, who was to be a true mother, and then be born centering on God. We would have been born embodying God's heart, God's love, God's emotions. To embody means that God would dwell in the physical body. Due to the fall, we were born embodying Satan's heart, Satan's love, Satan's emotions. On this foundation, we understand salvation as physical, having to do with restoration with my body of what the first parents did with their bodies. In Father's words, in order to restore this, one has to find and enter the womb of a true mother. Again, we have this unfallen bride teaching. You have to travel the road that passes through the womb of an unfallen mother and into the interior of an unfallen father and be reborn. Without doing this, resurrection is not possible. Father is saying that since evil formed us in the womb, we need to be reformed, recreated in the womb. The unfallen mother who is one with the unfallen father. Adam called Eve his body, flesh of my flesh, bone of my bones. In Galatians, Paul said that the church is the body of Christ. Naturally, Christianity refers to the mother church, and so too, true father called true mother the representative woman who represents all believers. This is why father often said that the children come to the father through the mother. Christianity today says that even a person who believes in Jesus has to receive the Holy Spirit in order to be reborn. Then what does it mean to receive the Holy Spirit? Because the Holy Spirit is the Mother God, 
it means receiving help from the Mother God and becoming one with Mother. Everyone has to go through the body of True Mother. Because the Holy Spirit is the Mother God, if the Holy Spirit enters someone, the person comes to long for and attend Jesus as the Bridegroom, that is, as the Father God. When that heart of longing is greater than one's life, finally a new life will be born. Father explains that in the New Testament age, this process is spiritual because Jesus did not have a physical bride. Therefore, this new life has not become a life that is perfected both in body and in spirit, but remains the standard of perfection only of spiritual life. So Father is telling us that the embodiment comes through the bride. Christianity has a mission to find the standard of physical resurrection. And because this remains, Christianity has been waiting for the time of the second advent. This tells us that with Jesus in the spirit world, rebirth, resurrection, is solely spiritual because there is no physical subject partner in God's position. This is why the second advent is about the horizontal God, true parents who came to the earth. God takes a concrete form in a physical, finite, real life, real time, culturally shaped father and mother. That's what, that's what makes love real and resurrection physical. It begins with a marriage because marriage is the microcosm of God's creative love. The union of male and female, spiritual and physical. Marriage is for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, never to part, for to part is death. Marriage is the meaning of attending true parents. We first-generation disciples knew this through doing so many things, witnessing, fasting, serving, sacrificing, self-denying, MFT, campaigns, mobilizations, go here, go there, just because we loved Father. We were his complete object partners, as if his brides. That's very physical, and true mother is the paradigm the substantial bride, our representative. True Mother's love for True Father, her one body love of a true wife, their embodiment together of the substantial word sets the standard for us and for all humankind. For physical resurrection, Father said, we pass through the womb of an unfallen mother and into the interior of an unfallen father. So True Mother's position is that of the Holy Spirit. We are her children. We sacramentally go through her womb. And so, after three years of mourning, True Parents created the four holy items of Chen Il Guk. So we, blessed children, can be born anew as children of unification and ascend to the eternal Bon Hyung One with True Father in Spirit World. Today, True Father is in Spirit World. Today, anyone can claim, True Father told me this or that, just as Christians say, Jesus told me this or that. That's fine but it's only spiritual resurrection. That's why we need True Mother on Earth. Today, the horizontal God is True Mother. Father said, 
This is the reason Christianity has been waiting for the time of the second advent. When True Mother reminds us of that, she's following Father's way with absolute faith, absolute love, and absolute obedience. Now we get to our present age and the connection between Eve, Mary, and True Mother. Father said, since our parents who are living in the satanic world are Cain-type parents on the side of Satan, we need an Abel-type parent on the side of God. Mary was that kind of parent for Jesus, a woman who could give birth to a child without sin. So Father's teaching that an Abel-type parent is a parent who can birth a child without sin. He goes on to say, after that, there has to be a mother figure on earth in the unfallen original position, an original mother figure who has not had a connection with fallen love or the lineage of evil. Father continues, for this reason, you must find three levels of parents, fallen parent, parent restored from the fallen world, and unfallen parent, and completely restore the connection of those parents. So those three levels are Eve, Mary, and True Mother. Thus, True Mother, the third level, is not a parent restored from the fallen world, but is an unfallen parent. We see that the only begotten daughter idea, the I was born sinless idea, is grounded in true father's teachings. Father taught, because the age of the second advent is the perfection level age, Christ at the second coming comes to find the mother of humankind. The bride whom the Christ is trying to find on this earth is not a woman under the dominion of the fall. He is trying to find a person who is born from an unfallen, pure lineage. That kind of bride or mother figure has to be born on the foundation of an able type mother in the fallen world. This means that Daemonium, true mother's mother, was, in father's view, an able type mother, like Mary, a mother who birthed a child without sin. Accordingly, continuing Father's words, your first mother corresponds to the position of fallen Eve, and the mother after that corresponds to the position of Mary at the time of Jesus. The third mother has to be the one who can advance to the position of mother as a virgin who has no connection with evil. Physical resurrection comes through the unfallen bride. The sacramental process of the holy marriage blessing bestows this victory of God, true parents, and true family. Physical resurrection for all humankind who believe. Thank you for your kind attention. And by the way, True Parents Way is under construction and will be up by the 1st of July.